Hello and welcome to the Oink headquarters. <laughs> you have an appointment? Uh, no. No? No. Well, you gotta go make one with my secretary. Where's your secretary? Uh, she should be around here somewhere. Hello? She looks like Jake. I don't see a secretary. She looks like Jake because she is Jake. There's no... <laughs> There's no desk out here for a secretary. Oh, well, then you can't come in. <gasps> what? Why? Wh okay, wait. Why Why? Why do you want to see the Oink headquarters? I, I want to do Q&A Friday with you. Does this have to do with pigs? Nope. In some way? Nope. But that that's really the entire purpose of this entire building. Then yes, it has everything to do with pigs. Okay, yay! <laughs> I see I you've got chair. your questions written do. down in invisible grayish ink. Yes, it's written down in this piece of paper. There's also books in there you could use. I don't need a book. Feel free to read one. <laughs> I see They're you have lots of books. Legalese. Legalese. Yes, all of them. So you ready to answer some questions? Work and me. That's the book Work one. And me. <laughs> Volumes one through twelve. <laughs> okay. You ready to answer some questions? The Encyclopedia Pigtanica. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I'm being interviewed. Yes, totally. Travis Terry wants to know how far we live apart from each other. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's longer than a bike ride. Yes, 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 yes. Slightly longer than a car ride. Yes, definitely. Too long for a car ride. And it's to fly, it takes two different planes to yes, get there. It does. So it is it is it sounds far away, but it's really not that far. <laughs> it's just because I mean, I'm in a different country. Yeah. And there's just no direct flight from where I live to where you live. <laughs> okay. Right. Um Hunter Nichols asks, um he knows that I watch Markiplier, but do you watch Markiplier? No. You do when I make you. When you make me you, I do. <laughs> that is true. I definitely agree with that. But no, of all the vloggers, the common vloggers of the world today, the only ones I watch are Rhett and Link. Yeah, that's and, that's it. That is, and you've that got is me the watching them it. too. I've started watching Good. Like, even morning. my favorite Tobuscus, I haven't watched in no. probably well months and months and months. I and haven't months. watched Tobuscus maybe even a year. a year. Yeah, yeah. So okay, Coldfire Kids ask, where do the dinosaurs go? Where did the dinosaurs go? They're still here. They're not here. Well, not physically here. <laughs> their bones are still here. True, true, true. Um, Hunter Nichols. A lot of people ask what because the last Q&A Friday. What? 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 Because what? We, we said there was an announcement. What was the announcement? The announcement the is that I am a full-time YouTuber now. What? Yeah. I knew that. Yeah, I know. Totally. <laughs> uh, did you like my acting, though? Yeah, it, it was very good. What? <laughs> <laughs> very surprised looking. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my expression totally changed. <laughs> <laughs> the Phantom Writer asked, if you could be a character from any TV, TV show for the rest of your life, who would it be? Um, He-Man. I would be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> I would want to be Captain James T. Kirk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for the rest of my life. I would be Guinan. Oh. Yeah. Working yeah. a bar. It's awesome. Plus you're Whoopi Go Goldberg. Plus, plus you're immortal, pretty much. Plus you're Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. And you get a good spot on the view. Yeah. <laughs> In your later Guinan years. <laughs> Sunshine GJ asks, do you listen to artists that kids 10 and older would listen to, like Rihanna, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, Drake, etc.? God, is that really what 10 and older would listen to? <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. I don't know what that question, 10 and older, what, like from the ages of 10 <laughs> to 99? I think they're just saying um, younger people, kids younger music. People. Yeah, younger so like people. 10 but and under. No, not like little kid music, but like oh. teen music. Probably. Teen music. Yeah, teen. I think I do because I have a 15-year-old and right. I tend to listen to the music she likes and then I start to like it because I hear I'm it. I'm hurting, up. babe. I'm <laughs> broken down. I need your loving. Loving, I need it now. 
<laughs> no, don't listen to any of it. No, me. not at all. <laughs> uh, at all. Um, the Phantom Rider asks, if you could switch bodies with someone for a day, who would it be and why? Captain James. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because he's a space captain who socks the first alien he sees and kisses the girl. It's <laughs> a good answer. Yep. Um, who would I be? I don't know who I'd be. I don't know. Maybe some Buffy. superstar. <laughs> yeah, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So, okay. Um, For a day, only a day. Huh. I would be the wealthiest man alive, and then transfer all the money to my. <laughs> I count. And, <laughs> and then the next, next day you'd be like, day, yeah! For him. <laughs> First of all, he'd be like, where did yesterday go? And right. second of all, he'd be like, where's my money? <laughs> and then when they traced it to me, I'm in trouble. No, because you'd be like, he gave it to me fair and square. I don't think it's that easy for rich people to send their wealth over to well, other Well, you could send a chunk of something. You could find the richest person and just send I mean, a small his pocket portion. change would probably last me a, a long time. So. Exactly. Like he wouldn't even notice like you'd take like um take like Donald Trump and put a million into your bank account and then you'd be like, "I don't know anything about that." Mhm. He wouldn't even notice it. Right. So, okay. Um Luis Luis Sal Pinero Gomez asks, "What do you think about Stegoceratops and Ark. What? What? He said Stegoceratops in Ark. Is that a thing in the Ark? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't heard anything about that. I don't that. think that's a thing, Louis. Um, Bella. It would, would it be like a Stegosaur with the would, spiky tail? <laughs> and it also has trihorns? The, right? The Triceratops or, thing? Would it be like. A triceratops with a stegosaur tail. Oh, Belalio Mady asks, what do your cats look like? My cats look like I have an I just explained cat. the same thing twice, I'm thinking now. What? A stegosaur <laughs> <laughs> with a triceratops head or a triceratops <laughs> with a stegosaur we're on, tail. We're in another the same question. Thing. We're in another question. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> my cats are Mew is a big, fat, fluffy, orange, like cream. Not like orange, orange. He's more like a creamy orange. He's definitely tan cat. Yeah, he's like a tannish. But he's and... got like reddish stripes ish. Yeah. So... Darker stripes. But he's very fluffy and very fat. And very mean and cruel. And he, he is not. He is a sweet baby. He, If you walk past him, he will attack and bite your foot. He does not attack me. You put your hand on the wall, he will lunge and attack your he hand. He doesn't do it to me. And then there's Dinah. If you make any in... bizarre noises, he will hiss at you. <laughs> if if he climbs on you and nuzzles against you and <laughs> pretends like he's your friend, he will then <laughs> bite your hand. No, he's a big fluffy baby. And then there's Dinah, denial. who is a calico, a, like almost like a tiger stripe calico. She's got like the calico markings, but it's all tiger stripes and stuff. Yeah. And she's very tiny and petite, but she's getting a little fluffy now. So mm -hmm. since she's been fixed, <laughs> she's, she's putting on a little weight. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't um, have all that exertion of energy. Right. Uh, I guess. Let me see here. Okay. The next question is Putty Taddy Jama asking, why Putty is Taddy. poet a butt? <laughs> why are you a butt? <laughs> I think that answers it pretty well right there. <laughs> what was um, the question? Why is poet a butt? What? <laughs> why is poet a butt? So why hold on. <laughs> One day I'll listen. Okay. Um uh, oh, this is a little personal. Austin Sassini as could you see yourself marrying poet and vice versa permanently living with each other? How do you know they're a little person? What? You said it was a little personal. A little personal. Yeah, the question's yeah. a little personal. The question's a little person? <laughs> you are such a butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I definitely someday maybe, but... Um... Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely live together. I would love to live together. Yeah. Yeah. We, we love each other, so I mean... Very much. Of course. So definitely, we we'd like to. When live people together. love each other. They plan the big the world. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, Anime Angel asks, what items in Minecraft can you never remember how to craft? <laughs> Reverse the question. Like, what do I remember how to craft? Uh, Ender chest is the worst. I just had to look up how to make a stone uh, a stone wall. A couple of stone A lot of walls. the, like, if you were to ask me right now how to craft a uh, comparator, I would have no clue. No, I don't know how to do any of the redstone um, stuff. Thing, yeah, things like that. I have no idea. A repeater, I would, um, but I'd probably mess it up first. You know, like it's, it's really the most basic, basic, basic blocks in Minecraft are the only ones that I know confidently how to make, and the tools, of course. But like anything else at all, hopper, dropper, <laughs> um, comparator, or anything like that, I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, I don't use... It's usually the stuff I don't use that often. Yeah, um, it's 90% it's, guesswork. As soon as you see... If you see, a, like, anything beyond a furnace technology in my hand, I've probably <laughs> had to look it up. <laughs> like, you can almost guarantee that. <laughs> if suddenly a poet comes in and he's got a hopper in his hands, you'd be like, yep, Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or stolen. <laughs> Vinay. I'll see if code has one. <laughs> I don't know how to make it. Vinay uh, Oris asks, what's your favorite movie? Mine is How to Train Your Dragon 2. By the way, I'm a boy. Okay. Uh, my favorite movie right now, currently, of all time, I think has hmm. to be probably uh, Labyrinth is my favorite movie of all time. Oh. Legend. Like, and all those little hokey movies I grew up with. Right. Uh, my favorite movie right now... I don't know. I think maybe Male Maleficent. That was a good movie. Oh. I'd like surprising. to see it again. Why? I don't know. It's just I I don't think a lot of people say that that's their favorite movie. I like fairy tale. Fairy tales are like my big thing. If it's a fairy tale, right. I'm all over it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, For me, I mean, when I was growing up, when I was a boy, also, <laughs> I, my, I'm still a boy, but I mean... <laughs> Nothing's changed. No. <laughs> but <laughs> I was checking. I can't breathe. Okay. 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 But when I was little, I, I really liked Gladiator with Russell Crowe. Oh yeah. That was like I that know it's not movie. really like a little kid's movie, but No, but it's still a good movie. But I still like when I was like the age that cartoons were so appealing to me, I still loved blood and guts and gore and well, stuff like that. Of course, you were a boy. It was great. So that was when I was little. Nowadays, though, I mean, I literally watch a movie or two a day. And I'm yeah. talking from from the 1920s and up. Yeah, you do watch a um, movies. One of my favorite movies of all time is uh, To Killing Mockingbird with Gregory Peck. Mm-hmm. Um, another one that I really, really enjoy is another old one with Spencer Tracy and uh, Sidney Poitier, uh, which which I think is called Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. I'm, I think that's what it's called. Okay. I think it's called Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And it's one of the movies that, like, I watch it and it, it opens your mind to, like, racism and how people think and debate and emotion and two people who just love each other and don't care what the world thinks and... I like that kind of movie. Um, newer movies, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I really don't know. No. Like I can get into the hype of things like Lord of the Rings or The Matrix or things like that when they come out. But they're not like the movies that I just. I have and to, like, I might even later. say like, oh, that was the best movie I've ever seen. That was so good. Jurassic but, World like, was pretty good to me. Ten like years that. from now, I probably yeah. I probably wouldn't be saying yeah, that's my favorite movie. You know. Yeah. Jurassic Park. I got to admit is one of the better movies I've ever seen. Yeah, for sure. The original one, yeah. Yeah. Um, because you watch that movie, even compared to Jurassic World, like I watched Jurassic Park the other day, again, for the billionth time, <laughs> and it's the writing blows Jurassic World out of the water, the actors blow Jurassic World out of the water, everything does. The story, does. everything the, is amazing. The way the feel of the movie does. So yeah, it's a better movie, but is it my favorite of all time? I don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Loaded question. Okay, so the fluff cat asks, would you ever consider going back to the UK? I'm from the UK, but I didn't get a chance to go to Minecon, so it would be amazing if I had an opportunity to meet you. I would love to go back to the UK someday. What are you doing? I'm a boy. <laughs> okay. What was the question? Uh, would you ever want to? Go back, would you ever <laughs> um, want to go back to the UK? Um. um yeah, I think it was a very nice place to visit. I don't know that I would go for no reason, like just to go. Well, if I was um, like going to tour, but there, the, there are uh, like there's that EGX convention. Oh, I think yeah. that's what it's called, right? Um, and then there's the the other one in I I something hashtag I, yeah. I something. I don't pay attention to the conventions. <laughs> over there. There's a lot of different British ones, um, and I see like Edson always. Tweeting out like, oh, I can't wait to go to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Ritcon. and Star goes to them. Thanks, Euro too. Games Con. I'd like maybe. to go to see our friends in the UK again, like I Liam think and Star. And all for them. me, I wouldn't go just for friends. Even well, like, I would, but I would. It's also such a be, high price. I'd I would have to probably go be for, like touring something. I would probably be touring like MK did, touring the different countries yeah. and stuff too. I would yeah. do that. Yeah. Not like spend an entire week in London. I would just maybe spend a day or so in yeah. London. Yeah. I would love also to go to like Paris, Italy for yeah. the food. <laughs> Food's a good reason. And for the Louvre. Okay. So Gabriel Game Ask, Q&A, if you both tra can travel anywhere in the world for free, where would it be and why? Korea. Korea too, actually. South Korea. Not South North Korea. Or North. I mean, it's free. <laughs> I'm sure I can make it out. I don't. Yeah, no. Uh -oh. okay. South Korea, definitely. Yeah, it would be really awesome because I think both you and I really want to go there. Yes. Um, for the culture, <laughs> the food. The food, definitely. We're both fans of K drama, so yeah. there's that. You know. Definitely. Um, or Japan would be cool too Japan, for me. Yeah. Um, just because it's so different and it's so far away, and it'd be good to go there for free. Right, yeah. <laughs> it would save us a lot of money. Yeah, I'm not too much into like the Hawaiians, Bahamas, no, Canaan, things either. like that. I'm not so much a beach person. Right, not me either. So, I mean, I'd prefer to go even back to Europe before I'd go to someplace like that. Exactly, me too. Yeah. Um, Elijah Jackson asks, uh, what's our favorite Disney movie? 101 Dalmatians. Really? Yep. Mine's Sleeping Beauty. I saw 101 Dalmatians probably a thousand and one times. It's really, it, when I was growing up, that was my favorite movie. Okay, the next one is for you. Going back to that question, when I was a toddler, 101 Dalmatians was where it was at. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. This one's for you. It's from um, Evil Grape asking, poet, why does Canadian $5 bills smell like made of maple syrup? They don't. No. Don't don't smell them. They're gross. <laughs> okay. No, it's a fact. It is a fact that um, all the money in Canada looks kind of the same. They're transparent on a strip, and you can't tear them. They're made of plastic. But only the hundred dollar bill smells like maple syrup. If you smell a five, it's going. You're just like going to smell like pocket. someone's hands or butt. <laughs> Like where their wallet to be. <laughs> That's what it'll smell like. Okay. And even the maple syrup one, like there are other ways of finding out if it's a hundred or not for security <laughs> reasons. <laughs> you don't need to smell no. money. It, it's not. No. But it does. I've I've had a hundred dollar bills. They do smell like maple syrup. Yes. And don't ever put money in your mouth, kids. No. It's disgusting. No. No. Okay. That is gross. The next one is for me. It's from Thomas Kirkham asking, when would you let your children on time shot when they are older? Well, we actually talked about this before, not in a we video. Did. We did. We talked about it. No, we this. did talk about it in a video, no, I thought. No, we didn't talk about it in a video. Um, Because they asked if Beth. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And we just basically said that they would have to, we'd hold them to the same standards as everybody yeah. else in the server. Unfortunately, Beth could never be on the server because she doesn't post regular content. So. Even though she's a really fun personality person, she's not a good enough YouTuber to be on the server. Yep. I love her to pieces, and I like making videos with her, but she's I right mean, now in school. Yeah, I think that I'd say that, too. Like, I would love for them. I would love all my family to be on a server with me, but 
they would have to for time shot they would yeah. have to be a content creator and they would have to be voted in by the whole majority yeah, of exactly. the server exactly